25th is almost here, and today we are looking at all the lightning cards coming in the set. Welcome to Jank Play TCG. My name's Landon, and here we play Jank. And today I am dressed for a Halloween event. So, let's go ahead and jump down to lightning and get started. Um, I'm actually thinking about introducing a professor-type character on the show. I think I just need some glasses, preferably without lenses. So I can, uh, yeah, do funny skits and stuff. So, lightning type cards coming in Paradox Rift. First off, we've got Mewtwo EX. And we might be starting off with uh, the high note and then working our way down. We'll just have to wait and see. So Mewtwo EX for a single psychic energy. Trans charge. Attach up to two basic psychic energy from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon any way you like. Fantastic. Great way to accelerate energy. Um, it's a basic Pokemon, single energy. I love it. You can do that turn one after you've used some abilities and whatnot and support cards to discard enough psychic energy and then accelerate that. And I like that's two energy onto your Pokemon any way you like instead of onto the active, onto Mewtwo EX itself right so i i do like that attack i'm not sure if it's worth two prizes but it's definitely worthwhile to use if you're playing mewtwo ex anyways the second attack two psychic energy photon kinesis 10 plus damage this deck does 30 more damage for each psychic energy attached to all of your pokemon awesome so glad it wasn't to Mewtwo EX. As I was reading that, I was a little concerned that's going to be 30 damage for each psychic energy attached to Mewtwo EX. But no, it is all your Pokemon. You can feel free to spread that energy around. And um, I do know there's a Zatu in this uh, set that you will want to partner up with Mewtwo EX. And in our limited league, someone is already doing that. And it's frightening. They're going to become unstoppable. Ah, huh. but um, yeah, definitely a great card to be looking out for, and it's going to sneak up on people, I feel. Because it is a basic Pokemon in a Psychic deck, it's, it's just going to surprise people to no end, and it's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Um, next up, we've got Ellie Kid, who for zero energy can do Crackling Shot. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So that means it can hit the bench, which is fantastic. And you're going to be able to knock out 30 HP Pokemon that they're wanting to evolve up. I know there's a Philittle that has 30 HP, but I also know that there are a bunch of baby Pokemon from previous set, from this set, that have 30 HP, including Ellie Kid itself. And being able to KO those while they're on the bench is going to be fantastic. The only downside is Manaphy still sees regular play. Um, I think Manaphy is losing interest, though. Uh, definitely after rotation, Manaphy is going to be more of a question. So, you know, we'll see if Manaphy prevents Ellie Kid from rising to fame or if just the fact that there's so many high HP Pokemon, if 30 damage is really anything to write home about. Then we've got Plusle, and uh, we also have a Minin, so we've got some sort of combo here. Let's read the Plusle. Maybe it's on there. Uh, for two colorless energy, 10 plus damage. This attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, so a double turbo, and you almost double the amount of damage that's on your opponent's active Pokemon. That's not bad. Um, you know, you deal some damage you're gonna two hit ko oh no they knocked out your guy that was gonna two hit ko them well you got a plus ult you throw on a double turbo sure it won't be exactly double damage it'll be 10 less than double damage because double turbo is minus 20 but you know it's not bad it's not bad so let's see what minin does minin uh buddy pulse if you have a plus ult in play whenever your opponent attaches an energy card from their hand to one of their pokemon put two damage counters on that pokemon i love it you can't apply more than one buddy pull uh, buddy pulse ability at a time that part does hurt it but i do like that give up two bench spots and every time your opponent attaches energy they take 20 damage that's pretty nifty 
Um, one lightning energy, 20 damage. We don't care about that. It's just the buddy pulse. That's why we're here. Um, yeah, I like it. I'm not sure how often 20 damage is going to be the make it or break it of a particular deck. But, um, let's see. Whenever an opponent attaches an energy card from their hand also. So it has to be accelerated from their hand. If there is any ex energy acceleration, it has to be from the hand. It can't be from the discard or something along those lines. So there are limitations to mine and it won't be great against all decks. Take um, any Lost Box deck, they're using the Mirage Gate, right? So that's going to get around this damage that mine would do. Uh, yeah, I love it. I, I do like it. So far, we've had some pretty awesome cards. From Mewtwo, Ellie Kid, Plessel, and even Minin, we're looking pretty good. Can Blitzel continue the goodness? So, Blitzel. Normally, we don't care so much about evolving basics, but everything's been so good so far. Let's check it out. One Lightning Energy, 10 damage, 3 energy, 50 damage. This Pokemon also does 20 damage to itself. No, Blitzel! No! You... Oh, jeez, that's just not great. That is just not great. Does the evolution save it? Zeb Zebstrika Zeb Strika for a single lightning energy burst of brain? Braying? Burst of braying? I don't, I don't get it. Uh, choose... Basic lightning energy cards from your discard pile up to the number of prize cards your opponent has taken and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. Ooh, that's a bit fun. Not sure if I love it, but it's a bit fun. Um, being able to accelerate a ton of energy sounds great. You, In essence, you're looking to accelerate at most four energy um, because... If, <laughs> this is where it gets a little wonky, right? If your opponent has four energy left, you use this attack, you accelerate four energy, your opponent then knocks out some striker, they take one prize, they have five, they've taken five prizes, they have one prize remaining. Then this card, you better have powered up the thing that's going to win you the game, right? You got to accelerate four energy, which is awesome, but you have to have powered up the thing that's going to win you the game. And pray the opponent does not just boss KO that instead, right? It's... I just wish it was better. Three energy, 150 damage is nice. The dealing 50 to itself, it kind of doesn't matter because you only got 120 HP. Most things are going to one-hit KO you anyway, so any damage on you, it's just not going to matter, right? So, I, I do like Zeb Striker. I just feel like it's not good enough, right? Um, and the fact that Zeb Striker literally does nothing for a single energy if your opponent hasn't taken any prizes is disappointing. If it was like one plus the number of prizes they've taken, then I would be on board. But yeah, it's a bit rough right now, in my opinion. Next up, we've got Jolt Tick. Jolt Tick for a single energy does flail around 10 times damage. Flip three coins. This attack does 10 damage for each heads. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's all right. I, I would have rather had some base damage done, but 10 times, possibly three, possibly zero is fine. Um, Garva uh, Garvantula here. Um, Galvantula? Galvantula. There's no R. Galvantula. Uh, Electro Bullet. 50 damage. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon pretty basic um for single energy not bad but also not great why are you evolving into galventula to do 50 damage and 30 to a benched pokemon right like you've got ellie kid for zero energy will do 30 to the bench so you're not playing it for that you're playing it for the 50 base damage which just is not good enough if it was this plus flip a coin if heads paralyzed i'd be in on it um, but sadly, it's not that, so I'm just kind of left wanting more. Uh, next up, we've got Zekrom. Zekrom, being a legendary Pokemon, uh, is a basic with 130 HP. Po uh, 30, 130 HP. There we go. I can speak. For one colorless energy, shorting crash, 
20 damage. Before doing damage, discard all Pokemon tool cards from your opponent's active Pokemon. That's pretty nifty. Tool removal plus damage. If they're playing something to lessen the amount of damage they take, tool removal, so they, you know, don't get to lessen that damage. They just take the 20. I like it. Uh, three energy, 130. This attack does 40 to one of your benched Pokemon. Okay, so Zekrom, for three energy, gets to do 130 and 40 to a benched. Zebstrika, a stage one Pokemon, for three energy, does 150 and 50 to itself. For 20 more damage, you're doing 50 to yourself rather than 40 to a benched. On a basic. Zekrom wins uh, against Zepstrika every time, no matter what. Um, the energy acceleration of Zepstrika, I don't think, outmatches Zekrom's attacks. Zekrom's just uh, just better than Zepstrika, in my opinion. Sorry. It's got 10 more HP. It's a basic, not stage one. And while you're giving up that 20 damage to the active, you're doing 40 to the bench rather than 50 to yourself. It's pretty, pretty easy to see. But we still have more lightning Pokemon because we got Oricorio. Uh, for a single colorless energy, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw a card for each benched Pokemon. Um, that's not bad. Uh, both yours and your opponent's. So more than likely, you're going to have more than five Pokemon on the bench between you and your opponent. So that's just a better youngster. I like it. It is an attack, which is sad, but I like it. Um, I do have to now Google... Uh, <laughs> because they forgot to translate the second attack. Paradox Rift, uh, Oricorio. Let's see, Bulbapedia. Can you give us the answer? Uh, card text. Uh, hmm, excuse me, sorry. Uh, okay, Volt, wait, 50 damage, we can see that. For two energy, okay, flip a coin, if heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. You know what? I like Oricorio. It's 90 HP, so level ball is a thing, until rotation, I believe. And yeah, uh, being able to both make your hand better, and then on, you know, or be able to paralyze... I think it's phenomenal, and I could see Oricorio actually see play, because you always want one of those Pokemon that can buy you a turn, or fix your hand, or something along those lines, you know? If you are just drawing terribly, hey, I got a level ball, I got some energy, you know what, Oricorio, energy, send it into the active, and I will shuffle my hand in my deck and draw for each bench Pokemon. Beautiful. Or, hey, I can Oricorio, Energy, and Raihan grab the Pokemon I actually want and slap that down. Oricorio goes in the active, and let's start flipping for Paralyze. If we can keep Paralyzed, we can win this. You want one of those types of attackers, right? So, I think that's phenomenal. Um, next up, we do have Tapu Koko EX. Hasn't Tapu Koko already gotten an EX? I feel... I don't know. But Tapu Koko sure does get a lot of love. Um, so for one lightning, one colorless, Revenge Shock. Ooh, I feel like I know where this is going. 30 plus damage. If any of your Pokemon were knocked down by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon during their last turn, this attack does 90 more damage. And your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed so i like the addition of now paralyzed i was gonna say two energy to sometimes do 120 is a bit much um but i like the added paralyzation i think that really adds to the attack and justifies it being on an ex pokemon because we've seen these revenge type attacks on single prize pokemon and they still don't see play but with the paralyzation I think that could be a game changer. And then with three energy, extreme current, 180 damage, discard an energy from this Pokemon. For a second, I thought I was going to say all energy, and I would still go, you know what, that's justified. But only discarding one is nuts. That means you just have to be able to attach each turn, and you can keep doing 180 damage. What are you not KOing at that point? Like two hit KOing, you know? Like, you can two-hit KO just about anything. It's going to take a lot to not two-hit KO something. 
I love it. I think Tapu Koko EX could see some play. Um, in a Maridon deck, is it worth it? That is a good question. Um, I want to say it is because of that revenge attack. Maridon has a lot of three uh, cost attackers. It does have Raikou, which is a two cost attacker. Um, but Raikou doesn't have paralyzation. And I think that's why Tapu Koko could see some play, is for that paralyzation. You're doing 120, but you're also paralyzing. Yeah. Toxel. Toxel. Uh, for two, Lightning Energy does 60 damage. Flip a coin if tails. This attack does nothing. So this is kind of mid, I want to say. It's not terrible. Two energy on an evolving basic is not really something we want to pay. But if you're in a tough situation, 60 damage is not nothing, you know? If you go first, you attach one lightning to Toxel, your opponent goes, they attach energy to their active, because next turn they want to evolve up, right? So do you. But let's say you don't get that evolution. Well, you can still attach a second energy, flip a coin, and if heads, you do 60 damage, which KOs a lot of evolving basics. So, I do like this, although more evolving basics seem to be hovering around that 70 HP. So, maybe play a uh, uh, Vitality Band? I don't know. Uh, and obviously, the Toxitricity is printed as a different typing. We'll have to wait and see what typing later on. I think fighting. Was it fighting? It might be fighting. That might be two days away. I would check my tattoo, but it's kind of covered in stuff. Um, next up, we've got Iron Hands. Ooh, this is actually our last lightning Pokemon. Iron Hands EX. It is a future Pokemon. Will that matter? Probably not, but it might. So, for three energy arm press, 160 damage. Okay. Okay. Um, that's not terrible. Three energy, 160. My, my concern is that that's the cheap attack. <laughs> three energy being the cheap attack is uh, rough. Um, but for four energy, amp you very much. I like it. I like it. I, I very much like it. Um, amp you very much. 120 damage. If your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from this attack, take one more prize card. Ooh. Um, that seems fun. Being able to take an extra prize card off anyone is always something that you have to keep in mind. A card like this, let's say it doesn't see play immediately, right? Eventually, some crazy person out there is going to make it work and they're going to pull it off at the perfect moment and steal some regional or something. I like this a lot. Very much, you might say. Um, <laughs> I think this is a pretty good Pokemon. If we could lower those attack costs, it, it would definitely see play. But because the attack cost is so ridiculously high, it's very difficult for this to see play. Think about it. You would need at least two Mareeps, or Flappies, evolved Mareeps into, evolved into Flappies, to accelerate two energy, two Iron Hands on the bench. Keep that in mind, on the bench. And then you Raihan for your switch and attach a lightning from your discard to your active. And then you attach a lightning from your hand. So you can get all four energy, get Iron Hands into the active, and then KO and take an extra prize. If they're within 120 damage, you know. If they're not, you can arm press, which will do 160. Maybe that'll get the KO either way, but taking that extra prize card could be the difference between winning and losing. So that will be interesting. And that, my friends, is all the lightning Pokemon coming in Paradox Rift. I hope you enjoyed this look at the set. Um, tomorrow we will be looking at Psychic Pokemon, although I'm probably going to record it like right now. Um, and so I'll still be in my professor gear. Uh, yeah. I need, I need glasses without the lenses. I think that would just be perfect. I love that gag in Spaced. Uh, if you've seen the show, you know, you, you might know what I'm talking about, or you might have missed it, honestly. There's like a montage of, uh, what's her name? Daisy? She's, uh, like doing a bunch of writing and whatnot, and she like goes like this, and it goes through her glasses so she can grab her, you know, the inside of her eyes like this. And, uh, it's something you might miss if you're just watching casually. 
but me and my friend found it. We loved it, and I, I want to repeat that gag constantly. Um, yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead, like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the rest of the videos looking at Paradox Rift. Um, and uh, be sure to check out the Discord where we have fantastic deck builders. We've got uh, conversations happening about jank cards almost every day. And it's a lot of fun. Really great people in that Discord. I really appreciate all of them. And you could be one of them. Um, and of course, until next time, keep playing jank.